What's up everybody? Today I get to bring you the smallest car we've ever featured on the channel. Actually, was it the, the shortest car I've ever featured? I don't know if the Twizzy was small. Regardless, it's a tiny little car. I can't wait to show you around it. And let's get the guy who built it in. Let's introduce it. This is the guy that built the whip behind us. And this is a Suzuki Cappuccino, for anybody that doesn't know. But this one is like a double espresso <laughs> Suzuki Cappuccino. Do you like that shit? Look at I that. I like that, that's original. Like that. So this is Lewis. Lewis, what's Hello. up? Hello, hello, Cheers, everyone. Bro. I was gonna say coming on the channel, but we're here at a track day, so it's kind of... Yeah. Technically, uh, welcome back to the channel. He's on here regularly. I'm gonna grab the camera now. We're gonna have a proper walk around. Yeah, it, yeah, so, let's uh, have a look. Let's do it. So Lou. Mm -hmm. Tell the people out there, what is this thing? What have you done to it? Let's have a look around it while we talk. Oh, I don't know really. Well, it was just meant to be like a cheap sort of track toy, but yeah, I got a bit carried away. It's been a few years now, but on the side in between drifting, here it is really. So this is a Suzuki Cappuccino, which is, is this a UK car? It's a UK, yeah. They only, they only brought over a thousand of them initially. A lot of them over here now are imports and stuff like that, but yeah, it's the original UK car, so completely rotten, as you'd expect. <laughs> so, I mean, from the factory, they leaked the whole roof design. So it's got a pretty trick roof. I don't know if it, like the, view, the viewers might know, but you can actually run it as like a Targa T top okay. or a full convertible. So like all roof configurations, and they just leaked. It's such just leaked. Huh? So all the UK ones are rotten. Uh, Brilliant. So I had to put floors in it. Had to do some other patch repairs and stuff like that, but we've got a relatively solid cappuccino. Now, a relatively so. solid cappuccino, and it is a beefcake cappuccino yeah, as pretty, well. It's pretty so, cool. It's got a few styling touches. Yeah, tell us about them. what. Yeah, are yeah. They? so it's got a. Um, there's a company in Japan called Toyoshima Craft. So it's got Toyoshima Craft arches on it, um, and it's got a takeoff front bumper. Um, so that's. That's as far, as far as kit's concerned, and some like some skirts from an FD RX-7 that I had just lying around that I cut down and managed to get fit. But uh, I think the most standout point is the wheels, really. Like the every, wheels are awesome. The wheels are cool. what, so what fit? What sizes? Obviously, these are Volk T37s yeah, yeah. for any of the newbies out there that don't don't know their wheel game just yet. These are the uh, the goat of the wheel industry, in yeah. my opinion. So, so these originally I bought for my A86 Corolla. Um, they're like perfect sizes for Corolla. They commissioned them. In, similar to your wheels and your EG, they commissioned them for the city. They commissioned these for a Corolla. Awesome. Um, so they're a 14 by 7 ET0. So you've got quite a nice concave on it. And they are kind of complemented by these arches. Yeah, the, that yeah, you put on. They fit really good. There's like loads of little touches. Like I had some like nice little vents 3D printed. You know, to like look like an. Oh app. yeah, with the Suzuki badge. Yeah, yeah. That's a trick. Yeah. Hang on, kind of look like a, a Euro style grill. Look at that in there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I love that. That's really cool. Yeah, like JDM, like side repeaters. Just little things like that, which unless you own the cappuccino, you probably wouldn't even notice. Notice, yeah. Just um, I like the little small touches and stuff. Rear wing, because I've yeah. recently, you've obviously recently fitted that. So. Yeah, I was undecided. The rear end like slopes down quite a lot, so I thought I'd put a rear wing on it, like a like a twin blade one, like a GT style. Yeah. And then I dismounted it. Either the boot's pretty non-operational now oh. it's rubbish anyway because it's flat <laughs> flat floor okay but um yeah it's chassis mount so it's actually like pretty pr like pretty, pretty rigid sturdy, yeah it's actually going to do something if you're able to go fast enough yeah, yeah. we are here today really, <laughs> so. we've got no rear bumper really like obviously there yeah. is a little one but it's cut so we can see right under here so what's been going on under here then yeah so i've got a um a little can, a little motorbike can. I mean, some of the rivets have fallen out today. But, um, <laughs> today have they come out? Today have they fallen out, yeah. 
Um, but th that's been handed down through like my friend Paz's like dad's bike to a right, okay. car, so it's pretty. Like I was quite happy to have that on. Um, it's got a two-way LSD in it, that I'm ported as well, and then some just rose jointed lower arms. Cool. Uh, BC coilovers. BC coilovers. Yeah. 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 Awesome, man. It's pretty standard. There's only like one, maybe one or two kits available, but BC is like readily available. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Um, um, on the interior. Yeah, go for it. Well, lack of. The, the lack of. Yeah, the most uncomfortable seats in the entire world. It's um, pretty much like what you can actually get to fit. So they're just like cheap kit car style seats with fiberglass and they're mounted, bolted in th the inside of the car. So it's real harsh, solid engine mounts, solid gearbox mount and diff mount. So a lot of vibration going through the car and tell you that it hurts. It's not comfortable, but <laughs> got to do what you got to do. But yeah. Sure. And you've got a nice shifter in there as well and the yeah. Nardi steering wheel. Nardi steering wheel, a couple of switches and then that's my dash. I can show you the yeah, dash. Yeah, yeah, let's turn that on. You see the door, oh sorry, the door cards, yeah. Just made some cool little Alcantara style. Yeah, really nice, on the top. So let's hop in and have a look at this yeah, dash. Yeah, go. So that's my dash and ECU combined. As you can see, it's nice and hot because we've just got off Ooh. and my fan's broken. So, um, yeah, ECU and dash integrated. Not, awesome. I mean, not, it's not the best thing in the world. But hey, it works, it right? It works kind of for the time. I love how, how plain the dash is with just a yeah, few. Yeah, that's what I kind of wanted. Like, nothing too. I've got literally got a fuel gauge. Um, like vitals on the other side for uh, MOT, uh, which I'm yet to get done, and then um, yeah, just the ECU. I'm going to have one stick on um, GPS speedo, which yep. I'll use in my Corolla as well, but I've, there's no need for it just yet. So. Yeah, yeah, cool. Let's uh, pop the hood. Yeah, have I a mean, look under the at the magic. <laughs> I mean, it's the, the tiniest thing you've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, it is so small! So as you can see, uh, well, that's what she said. Um, oh, look at that oil cap though. I know, yeah. <laughs> what, so, what, what, do you what, believe it? so, for the people out there that are completely oblivious to these cars, like what, what engine size is this? What? So, it's um, a Kai car, which for this age, I mean, it did vary a little bit. For this age of Kai car, it had to have a 660cc engine. Um, so, some of them had four cylinder 660. Most of them had three cylinders, so this sort of area. A lot of them turbocharged. So that's what we've still got. Still got the original engine, which is standard internally. And I've put on a bigger turbo, some injectors. What size turbo what are, are you running on? This is, is pathetically still... small. This is a Garrett GT12 <laughs> right. turbo. Um, so it's tiny. I'm having, like you say, you know this yourself, but I'm having a few issues with it at the moment. I think I'm going to fit a tubular manifold because mm -hmm. I managed to use the original cast one. Okay. Yep. I don't think it flows well enough. Yeah, so I'm having a few. I questions. have to just literally let people know as well. This car was finished what yesterday for today's track day. Yeah, and you yeah. built this pretty much ground up all yourself. Yeah, I've had it literally done to a bare shell um, because of all the rust and stuff like that. So it's not immaculate by any means, but it's usable. Like it's tidy enough to use. And it's hilarious fun. I yeah. love watching it go round. It's, it's just, just, it's like... just so, so ridiculous, like how small the engine is. Really, you could probably it's probably like the same size as an A4 piece of paper. Like yeah, top. it's really really small. How how tall are you? Just for reference, are you six foot five? No, I'm like five ten. Five ten. So there you go. You'll stand next to that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's like a mini wheel. We packed it next to Nick's mini. It's an old mini wheelbase length. Right. Okay. Cool. So it's like that's how small it is. Yeah. It's, it's pretty. brilliant, man. But it's good fun. I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions because obviously we're at a yeah, track day. We can't go out and do like a drive. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, why would you? Why? Why one of these? What was the? Like, what? What? Like, what made you go? Oh, I'm gonna go spunk a load of money on a um, cappuccino. I had uh, MX-5, and I, I, I mean, they're great cars, but I want to set something a bit different. Like suspension-wise, it's double wishbone suspension, so it's like similar sort of suspension design to MX-5. It's lighter than an MX-5, like because it's a convertible. All the weights are in the sill. Yeah. All the strengths, so like the weights low down in the car. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just like them. This, I had one a few years ago. Um, I just like the way they drive. They make a good noise for a three cylinder. Yeah, yeah, it's fun, man. I don't know what it is. It's, it's such a pathetic little engine. <laughs> it sounds like it's got some grunt to it. But... Oh, I forgot to mention the roll cage you've, you've got. Yeah, yeah, as well. yeah. So it's like, it is like a fully ready to go track car. It's not just some hack job. No. Like so it's a proper light. It's got, full, oh, I've got all the aluminium dash. That's the, not, obviously not the original dash. Um, yeah, just, just a six point. I, I would have liked to have door bars in it, but at the time I was worried about seat. Yep. seats but now I, I could actually squeeze a door bar i mean it would be horrendous to get into it would be pretty <laughs> but for safety like it's depends what sort of how much use i'm gonna yeah get yeah it definitely would be nice to have a little bit of extra definitely safety, so. well you are going to be kind enough to let me take it out right yes yes <laughs> we are now in the cappuccino lewis i built this thing ground up 
I'm gonna go take it out. This is his first proper event as well. Shakedown. Shakedown event. So it's got some bugs that need kind yeah, of sussing, yeah, but it's not perfect. She'll be a ripper. Let's go have some fun. I'm so scared. <laughs> it will vibrate like crazy. So if you hit feel vibrations, just, just keep going. We keep sending. Yeah. Let's go, baby. <laughs> okay, little car. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> There we are, Suzuki, first Suzuki Cappuccino ever on the channel. Uh, first key car, I think, ever. Kai, key, Kai, Lewis? Whatever. Wet, K-E-I car yeah. on the channel. And, uh, and it's so cool that I got to take it around track. I hope you liked the little lap I got to do in it. I didn't set a very good time, but first time ever driving it. So I think I did okay. Super fun. It's so, so much fun to throw it around. The back end step, well, it feels like it steps out loads. Lewis told me it, it looked like it was like a <laughs> it definitely felt like it was like having it large but it was so much fun the main thing is i come off track just beaming i was like man this is so good so uh i think lewis has built an amazing little car i can't wait to see it in its final form i guess once he's got all the little uh, little niggles straightened out but huge amount of fun it looks so cool and i really hope you guys have liked it too please make sure you hit subscribe check out the channel members page for, for some exclusive content and i'll see you again in the next video Peace. Let's go do more driving, yep. boys. Let's go. Sick. <laughs>